here aboard the USS Abraham Lincoln, and that means that we are getting all right. Close fans, to some presenting the game here. ball to the head coaches at midcourt is the commander of Naval Air Forces, Vice Admiral Kenneth Weitzel. And here's another great look at the scene here. The sun is starting to set a little bit, and but it's nice. It's a nice, it's a nice afternoon. A little breezy. We'll see if the jump shots are falling today between Gonzaga and Michigan State. But again, not that the uh, the outcome is secondary, but this is more of an event than a game. It is Veterans Day. Everybody is here to honor the courage and the selflessness of everybody in the military, both Mark Few and Tom Izzo. Um, you know, we understand how they feel about it. We've got Chris Patola uh, with us on the crew. We'll hear from Seth Greenberg and Lafonso Ellis. And now these young men who are about the same age as the average age of the sailors on this ship, Jay. They're getting ready to play what should be a very fun basketball game. Well, and you mentioned the wind, Dan. It was much windier yesterday when these two teams were practicing. It certainly affected their outside shooting. But I think you're going to see Tom Izzo try to script some of their punch action plays to try to get the ball inside to start the game so they're not starting off shooting jump shots. The last time they played on an aircraft carrier is 2011. Uh, they only shot 30% from the field, losing to North Carolina. But they got a lot of rebounds. Draymond Green had 18 rebounds yeah. in that game. Career high. Yeah, a lot of missed shots, a lot of rebounds. <laughs> we'll see what it's like here. Uh, both teams wearing camo-style uniforms, as you can see. They both got USA in place of their names. Gonzaga in the lighter uniforms, Michigan State in the darker uniforms, and away we go here aboard the Abraham Lincoln. A.J. Hogard at the point with the ball now for the Spartans. There's the post up to Joey Hauser trying to go one-on-one -on -one in the post. Tyson Walker, his second year in the program. Will the Spartans have a go-to guy? They've had very balanced scoring the last few years as we take a look at our starting lineups brought to you by Paraton. As Gonzaga tries to go inside to Anton Watson, ball is loose as you look at the Gonzaga starting five, including the preseason All-American in Drew Timmy. A little bit of a different lineup because they don't have Chet Holmgren in right. a, a stretch five who was the number two pick in the draft and then a look at Michigan State Joey Hauser hit four threes in their first win over Northern Arizona they're looking for a big season out of him Strother for three and hey who says it's hard to shoot outside there's no win